Hey YouTube fam, it's your girl Leah back again with another video. In today's video, as you can see from the title, it's another day in the life vlog. This vlog, I'm taking you along on a little self-care day. And what that means for me is I gotta get a facial, gotta get a massage, and I need to do something to this hair. This hair needs to get done. I already did my nails earlier this week because I knew there was but so many hours in this day, but I wanted to pack it with some time for me. I took every Friday off of this month, as you heard in my last vlog. So last week off was just a little short trip to Asheville. This week off is just a maintenance day. Next week off is Vegas, but that's another story for a different day. Today's video is this maintenance day. Come along with me. Let's go. My day is clearly not going to plan because I don't have a facial, nor do I have a car right now. But I'm going to go to Enterprise and see if they maybe have a car because who knows when I'll have a car. Inside, 
Y'all, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm sitting here with my two remaining dumplings because I was so hungry. I ate, ate there. And I have two remaining because I had to come back home because I have a dog who's been here all day. Let me start by saying today did not go at all how I had it on my bingo card at all. I don't know if I've spoken at any points through today's video, but it's not Friday the 13th. Friday the 13th has already passed. Friday the 13th was regular. You would think today was Friday the 13th. I went back and forth. If you're seeing this video right now, clearly I've posted it. Um, I went back and forth with my friends in group chat today because I was like, I don't, I don't think I should post. Like, it, it, I'm going to keep filming, but I don't think this is a postable video. This video, as I started it earlier this morning, was a maintenance day. I didn't have it on my bingo card to spend 700, 700 something dollars uh, on a car situation. I, I didn't have that on the bingo card, but you know what? It's realistic. It's a realistic, this ain't every day though. It's not like a every day in my life. This is the most of the most days. Now, what went right was first Dan. I started off really good, strong. Dan is my guy at Zen Massage. If you are in Charlotte and you are looking for a masseuse, one of you have already gone to him and you go to him more than I go to him. I only go to him like if I have a day off. But one of you guys go religiously to him every two weeks. Shout out to you. I know your name. I mean, you have a common name, Karen. Shout out to you, Karen, because you are going to Dan. And Dan speaks highly of you. So love Dan. Dan's tables, if you are bigger chested, you know, we're bigger chested, you know, most of the time when you lay flat on a massage bed, you're laying and you're raised up. At Zen Massage, um, they have it where the bed itself dents down. I don't know if I can explain it right, but it dents down at your boobs. He can press a button and it can go down. And you're not raised off of the bed like... He used to, before, I've gone to him for years and years, before he was where he is now, he used to put towels up under my shoulder, so which really helped, and I never had that done. I think that's why I was like, he is my guy, and I've been going to him for, it has to be, since I've moved, since I've lived in South Charlotte, I've gone to him, and I've been here for three years now, I think. So ever since I follow him, I will follow him wherever he goes next. Love him. That was great. Next was my facial. As you see, I still have the zit. The zit's still zitting. We didn't have any extractions. And that's the part where I debated and struggled with whether I was going to capture that in the vlog because it was part of my day and it was supposed to be part of my maintenance. But as you saw, I didn't get a, I didn't get a facial. But, but I did speak to the owner. She was so apologetic and, you know, running a business. You guys know, I, I cape for my black owned businesses. I love my black owned businesses and I understand growing pains that come with growing businesses. So she called me, she explained everything to me. But things happen. Things happen. She refunded me my deposit because it's one of those places where you had to get a deposit. She just refunded my deposit immediately. Almost, I mean, my appointment was at 11. I waited about 15 minutes because I'm that person who I'm like, I don't want to leave. Like, what if they're just running late? Like, I don't know. So I'm leaving there. This is where I'm going to yada yada through things because um, I ran over something. Something that was obvious. It didn't come out of nowhere. My mom was like, did it come out of nowhere? It didn't come out of nowhere. It didn't come out of nowhere. It was right there in the road. And, 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 and it wasn't supposed to be ran over. But I ran over it and it scraped the bottom of my car. Just scraped the bottom of it. Scraped the bottom of my car. But I thought nothing of it. Until I realized my car was leaking fluids like I'd never seen a car leak fluids before. I was a gas. Um, so after it started, after I got from behind the thing that I had ran over, which oh, we're not even going to get into it. And my mind is like, if I was in my, get my facial, this would have never happened. But it, it happened. 
So yeah, um, car wouldn't drive, or I had no transmission fluid. What it ended up being was that my car leaked every sense of the transmission fluid, so I can't move. My car literally only made it to the parking lot of Optimus Hall, which I was gonna go get. I was already, I was gonna get some dumplings, but clearly didn't get those till six p.m. So my car leaked all the transmission fluid out. At the time, I thought it was all the oil, and I thought that was a big. I was like, my car is leaking oil. I didn't know what the substance was so in my mind i'm like oh this is gonna cost me thousands this is gonna cost me thousands of dollars and my car is not gonna be ready so i went to enterprise because my car was um my in my mind not gonna be ready so i I was holding the woodies i've been to woodies before but the one they have many woodies if you're in charlotte woodies is like a, a chain of automotive places it's fast but it's expensive when they told me what the issue was, they were like, yeah, we can have it fixed. If not, by the end of the day, tomorrow morning. So in my mind, I'm like, oh, I didn't need a Hertz car. I was like about to enterprise a car for the next week. Because in my mind, I'm like, my car is total. This is it. Like, this is over. I saw at the bottom there was a thing hanging. I don't know if I inserted the clip, but there was a thing hanging from my car. Uh was able to fix it clearly within six hours. Um, So um, got my car back. Literally, no. Let me back up and tell the story right. When the Enterprise, there were no cars at Enterprise in any Charlotte location. I didn't try the airport. They said try the airport. I was like, I don't even want to go to the airport. Hertz, I called Hertz. No cars available. Oh, we ain't got cars. That's another story for another day. But I just took the light rail because the light rail in Charlotte is right by the Enterprise location uptown. And luckily, Tony Salon is on the light rail path. So if you get off, if you are looking for a silk press stylist, you know, you're looking for a style style, Tony is right off of the 36th station. So if you're looking for somebody to do your hair, some of you guys too have gone to Tony too. So that happened and uh, she got done. The, the The place was calling me, told me my car was ready. I went to go get my car. Literally the nick of time because they close at like six. And so they were like, are you coming? I literally got there at 5.58. I had a day, y'all. Again, I could have cut some stuff out. Like, did this need to go? The day didn't go as planned, but I think that just shows life is never at plan. I went out of this house thinking I'm going to pay this much for this. I'm going to get these services done. It's going to be a self-care chill day. I have the day off. I ended up with a new transmission holder of transmission fluid. I ended up with a tow truck. If you have Geico, another shout out. Um, if anything, I'm shouting out more car stuff and whatever. Geico. Geico is my insurance provider. They always, the roadside assistance, you don't need triple A if you have Geico. Roadside assistance has always come through. This is the second time I've utilized them. The first time was a dead battery. They jumped me very quickly. This time was a tow. It was so quick. I thought I was going to have time to eat in between them coming, like me calling them. I was parked in Optimus Hall. I Geico Assist, you can just do it on the app. And I thought, okay, it's going to take some time. Man, that man was turning the corner. So it took them like five minutes. It's through your insurance. So I've never paid for any of these services. It's just, I guess I'm paying for it monthly. So I guess I'm paying for it. But if you enjoyed this vlog that did not go anywhere near as planned, it's not a normal day in my life. I have to do my skincare tonight. The night is going to be a skincare regimen because I ha I'm, this is not, I can't go to Usher with this next week. This has to be gone now. This has to be gone now. Usher can't. Even though I'm so far with Usher when I see me, I can't go to Vegas next week and have this face. I got my nails done. I got my hair done. I'm going to get my brows done next week. This pimp gotta go. Pimp gotta go. So that's the only thing on the agenda for the rest of the night. I need to stay my butt and sit my butt down. Yeah, it's 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 a sign. Sit my butt down. If you enjoyed this video, which I don't know how you could, but if you did enjoy it somehow, give it a big thumbs up. Even if you didn't, still because I've had the day that I've had, give it a thumbs up because I just need the I need love support like something. My friends have been holding me down today. Tony, my stylist, we had so many laughs, so many chuckles. She helped me. If I didn't have these types of interactions in my life, I think I would be somewhere drowning in a bottle of wine somewhere else instead of at my home. So please still give it a big thumb. We don't want to see any thumbs down from anybody. We also want you following me on Instagram. I didn't post anything that happened today on Instagram, but you know, follow me there because most of the time I post in real time. Today wasn't a day for real time posting and TikTok because I have some shenanigans go on and 
just follow me at places because it, it helps. It helps. This is the most depressing sign off of a vlog that there was or was, but y'all, yeah, today's been the day. The next vlog will probably be my Vegas vlog. And that, that will be fun. Fingers crossed. Nothing but positive thoughts, please. Pour them this way so we can go see Usher next week. And I'll see you in that vlog. Talk to you next time. Bye. <laughs> I know you heard me on the radio. True.